Okay, while Brigitte is working on the last of the commissions from Chicago, I am prepping up a little photo shoot for us. We'll be doing a an infrared shoot. So while prepping for that, I need to actually test out the gear again and remind myself which lenses work the best and which ones exhibit some issues. So you guys get a little sneak peek on how all of that works. Clifton added a cool new thing to our painting setup. Let me show you. We now have this huge monitor over here, which is super dope. And we have the small one it's starting to look like a captain's command station here, like a cockpit. All right, at some point this week, I'm gonna get Brigitte to come out here. I'm gonna actually have her model some infrared for you guys. In the meantime, I wanna show you guys some more of the really cool stuff that the foliage and all that does. Uh, now that I'm kind of figuring out which of these lenses has the least problematic like hot spotting and stuff. Also, pardon any uh, wild exposure changes in the process of this. Uh, some of the rooms inside are gonna be really dark in the room and then outside's gonna be super bright. So sorry if there's like nuclear explosion bright <laughs> outdoor shots uh, with the occasional super dark and grainy indoor shot. But uh, we'll see what this camera can handle. <laughs> Right now, my mom is coming to pick this gal up. If you guys remember from the last episode, she claimed dibs on this one, so we're gonna give this to her, and mm -hmm. that's exciting. And then we're gonna paint some more. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm gonna get closer. <gasps> yes. so she awesome. awesome. <laughs> it's my mom, everybody. <laughs> What else have we got going on today? Probably even Ooh. more. <laughs> so it's turning more lights fill on. Light, fill fill light. light. How's that? It's beautiful. Look better? It looks amazing. <gasps> Actually very excited for this one. I'm excited for all of them, but this one, this one's gonna be, this is gonna be special. Uh, it's a Ulamog custom altar. This card was provided for us at Magic on Chicago, and I've been excited to do it ever since. So here we go. Okay, so I'm in the middle right now of recording um, some more tests and things in infrared, and something just stood out to me, which I think you guys are gonna find super freaking cool. Um, I have this wide angle shot. You see the little black bits there swaying in the breeze? You may notice that in visual spectrum, that's just green foliage with little green pods 
But in infrared, the pods are very dark. And I actually captured that. The flowers contain information. And in infrared, you can see that these otherwise totally green pods that look the same color to our eyes as the green stalks are growing off of uh, in infrared are actually little black pods where the flowers come out of. So to those who see infrared, they can see sharp contrast right where the budding flower is on a plant, for example. So I'm gonna jump back to getting some really cool AB visual spectrum infrared footage for you guys. And then at some point roping Brigitte into coming out here and possibly modeling for me. Ulamog is coming along. Let's see if Clifton can deduct, deduce what I am referencing here with this fabulous altar of Ulamog, the party animal. Is this something Daft Punk related? Oh man, this is a hell of an altar, first of all. <laughs> My God. It's subtle, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is so. I feel like my hipster glasses are like, I gotta. I have to give them to someone else now. I feel like I'm not, I'm not getting the thing. Give them to me, because I made the reference. <laughs> it's Ulamog at the trash fence. <gasps> right! Oh, that's great! Yes, that's hilarious. Fudge! Daft Punk at the trash fence. That's awesome. That's a great deep cut, and I should have gotten that. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's solid. Such a cool altar. Come on. I'm so impressed and ashamed of myself. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. So we actually have three lenses that will work quite well for this, uh, which is exciting. So let's do one final round of testing with a human subject. Clifton is testing his infrared camera. I'm gonna hop outside and check it out. The exposure is going wild. I know, it's been nuts. It's hard to go from room to room. Oh, it's cold out here, but it's nice. Are you ready for your close-up? I'm so ready. Asks Mr. DeVille. Mika is ready as well. This is gonna look so awesome. I can't Dude. wait to see your reaction when you see what you look like in infrared. I'm gonna go put a black shirt on because we're shooting an in infrared. from infrared testing. I'm so excited to see what these look like. Afterwards, I'm gonna do a couple of these. These are our prismatic lightning bolt mini prints and I have some commissions for a few sketches on the back. So I'm gonna do those. Panda stealing the Mona Lisa from the garbage. I was telling a collector the story of the Mona Lisa and how 
No one really cared about this painting until it was stolen by literally some guy. That's, that's how this came to be. This is the last one. They're off. To you. From us to you. Directly. It's real. It's real. It's really happening. Uh, Outland Liberator goes to the beach. Diver Vinny from our lofty coastline world by Starseve. Starseve Original World Building. Starseve Original. On this card. Yeah. Uh, some fun ones coming up for the newest round of commissions next week, so that's gonna be cool. And yeah, sign up for the newsletter to get in on that and other updates from us. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Keep like, up with what we're comment. doing. Like, comment, share. Yeah. Oh, yeah, share All it. All things. Share it. Show the people. Yeah. If you see something, say something. If you dig it, share it. Exactly. <laughs>